Hot on the heels of a recent update that introduced dark mode to a number of Wahoo Element cycling computers comes another update introducing a few quality of life features. These new features being music or media control from the head unit, Ant Plus light control and giving the users a little bit more control over the Ant Plus radars, well the Ant Plus light of the radars, I'll dive into that in a moment. Wahoo are announcing GoPro control. Now this is not rolling out today, it's just an announcement, but we will have a quick look at what that's all about. And lastly, they've introduced a number of additional sync sources for your workouts, allowing you to pull your workouts in from more places. Okay, let's kick things off by looking at the media or music control. Now this feature is enabled on all element units. So I have them all sitting here. I'll pull out this one. This is the oldest and this feature does roll out to this one, but I will show you on the Rome 2. So pulling up the Rome 2 here and my iPhone just beside it. With this Rome 2 paired by a Bluetooth to my iPhone, I now have an option to control the media on it. To show you that, we'll go back to here, page across, page across, page across, and there we have it. The ability to play, skip forward, skip back, change volume, and that works across streaming services, audio stored on the phone, and also other apps such as YouTube. If you're a YouTube Premium member, you can listen to videos in the background as you're riding along, and that will allow you control by this. So let me go back here and hit play. We have, well that is playing, but I'm not actually gonna play the audio because I'll probably get done for copyright here on YouTube. But if I wanted to skip songs to next, obviously next song, I'm just pressing the button here. Next, next, next. So a hot tip there is Wolf Alice, definitely some rocking tunes there. So that's it, media control, quite a simple addition across all element units, and that can be disabled too if it's not your thing. Within the Element app, going to Pages, scrolling down, and toggling off that music page. Okay, next up, Ant Plus Light Control. Now, this has been a very, very long time coming. And it uh, is only for, I'll pull out my Ant Plus lights here as I set up my little demonstration. It's only for the Wahoo Roam 2 and the Wahoo Bolt 2 for now. Now, I have my Bontrager lights here, front and back. I also have an RTL 515 paired to this unit right here. And as these are paired as normal sensors, I'll just show you through the menus here. Our bike lights are set to off when the ride hasn't started yet. We'll scroll down, so I have front light, rear light, and radar, all connected as sensors. Now there are a number of combinations and configurations, so on, off, low light, high light, flashing, you name it, there's a lot to get into. But let's keep it simple. Going back here and hitting start on the ride. Now hitting start, I do have it configured in the companion app that when a ride starts, it will turn all my app plus lights on to their previous state, which is on. Let me get that a shot. Excellent, actually. Let's get that right there. Perfect. Okay, so they're all working as expected. And from there, we can do some configuration too. So back to the menu. Oh, you see there at the top, bike lights on. Yes, they are. And from there, settings, front light is set to 20%. Change that. I was just making sure it wasn't too bright in your eyes there. So more on that, and we can toggle different modes. So flashy, flashy, off, and very, very bright. Let's not do that one. So all individually configurable for your lights. Go back on here, rear light the same, and radar. Here's where things get very interesting. Now with the radar, it is an Ant Plus radar, and it's also an Ant Plus light, so we can get control of that. Now previously, if you were to set the Ant Plus light here to off, but have the radar on, Wahoo Element units would consider the radar to be turned off, disabled, and it would just disconnect. Now that it knows the state of the Ant Plus light, and that it can be on, but in an off light state, you can use the radar without the light being turned on. But not only that, let me show you this extra remote that I think is pretty cool. So we go more on the radar, Alert mode is on, light mode is 20%. Again, we can toggle those different modes. Short flash, bright flash, or off, and the radar remains on. Very, very handy if you're riding on, say, like a rail trail, but you don't want the light on all the time, but you do want to know if someone's riding up behind you, or maybe you're out on a very long ride, you're an hour and a half from home, and you get that low battery warning. Maybe it's a sunny day, you can get away without having the light, but you do want the radar on. You can go and turn the light off and still have the radar functionality beeping away on your head unit and in your headphones. Okay, now scrolling down to a really interesting new setting and it's called auto light. Auto light's currently set to 10 seconds. We can set that to disabled 
one second, five seconds, or 10 seconds. Clicking on more, we can see the description here, the amount of time the light stays on after a vehicle passes, set to disable to set the light to always be on. So the default state is the light is, let's say the light is on peloton mode, a car approaches, it'll start flashing, a car passes, it returns back to peloton mode, so always on. With this, you can set it to turn the light on when a detection takes place and the light will stay on for the specified amount of time after the car passes, then the light turns off. I'll see if I can replicate that indoors here. So auto light set to 10 seconds, light mode is set to off. We'll go back and back on that. And I'll try and replicate, well, I kind of need to run somewhere at about 10 kilometers per hour to set this off, one moment. I can still talk. There we go. Okay, so that's set. The light is flashing after 10 seconds. It's a very long 10 seconds. And that's it, light returns to the off state. Now, did you see the little icon on the top right hand side of my screen? Now I'll do this again so you can see, just keep an eye on the top right hand corner, which shows you the light state of the radar in the radar bar. So I'll set this off again. Somehow, there we go. Okay, now top right hand. There we go. I love it when a demonstration works. You can see there the light is on. So you can always tell the state of the light now on the Rome 2 and the Bolt 2. And as the light goes up, that little icon disappeared too. Super cool stuff. It's gonna conserve battery, which is one of the main concerns with a lot of radar devices. To change those modes, you can still use the buttons on top, and as soon as I press that, again, the icon returns. So there's a lot more to it. I'm sure there's a lot of different combinations and configurations people can use, but there we have it. We have Ant Plus light control on Wahoo Element units. Those being the Rome 2 and the Bolt 2 for now. And just to complete my demonstration, once I stop the ride, these lights should turn off, replicating a finish of a ride. Pause, stop, three, two, one. Oh, and ride, yes, I've got to confirm. I should be looking at the screen. Done, and it works just as we'd expect. Okay, as I clean up this experiment and bring out the next one, GoPro Remote Control. This got me excited when I saw this on the testing list, and it still is in testing, but Wahoo are announcing it today, and I'm hoping it's gonna replace this little remote here that I have on my handlebars. Sometimes when riding with cameras, either underneath the handlebars, on the back, or on the helmet where I can't see. Okay, what this is all about, it is for the Bolt 2 and the Rome 2, as far as I can tell right now. It's for the GoPro 9 and above. Now I have all the GoPros from 9 and above, but I've conveniently put them in a tin box a few meters from here, so they don't get in the way of my pairing session I'm just about to show you on this one. And it's quite a simple setup, so let's give it a shot. So we'll turn the GoPro 10 on here. Uh, probably need to turn it upside down, that's how I've got it set up all the time. We'll go back right now. It has to be paired as the app, I believe. I've been toying around with this. It can pair as a remote control. On this one, connections, connect device, GoPro app, so I just, can you see, oh, it's just got pairing on the front screen there, that'll do. We scroll down. We will add sensor. We'll wait for the magic to happen. Save GoPro right there. Hopefully that's the right GoPro. Save, done. Connection successful. Ha! Oh. Trust me, I've recorded this video about three times. It's never worked that well so far. Again, still in beta, has been announced, not enabled just yet though for everyone else. From here, we'll scroll up and we see GoPro more. Okay, so the sensor there, 4648. BTL Elite's over Bluetooth for that connection. Back, up, up, up. You can go more on that. 71% battery, current mode is video. You can toggle through those there in the sensor, but even better, we've got its own page we can go to for the GoPro configuration. There's the music. GoPro configuration right here on screen, replicating pretty much what you see here. Right, what we can do is scroll through mode that's currently in video mode. We can go to take a photo mode. Oh, I'll do that one again so you can see what's being recorded here, and I take a photo. Done, not sure I was even looking at the camera then. Okay, we go to, there's time-lapse, there's video mode. 
Now I do note it says eight hours, 51 minutes there. I believe that's eight minutes and 51 seconds. So pre-release, but this is what the functionality is going to allow us to do. I hit record on that. And I got an indication there on screen that I'm actually recording something super cool when these units are tucked away, maybe behind the saddle on your helmet, as I said before, you can see what's going on on the screen here. Paging across, paging across, paging across, and that's still recording. We can hit stop. And while we're there, we can change through profiles as well. So the predefined profiles on there for the video, cinematic, ultra slow-mo, basic, or standard. So there's a preview look at how the GoPro control will work. It's gonna be very interesting to see how they deal with GoPro 9 through the 11, the 11 mini, and how it goes to sleep and things like that. But that demonstration right there seemed to work pretty well. Okay, and finally today, uh, I don't have any demonstration on this one because I don't have any of these set up as a sync partner, so I'll just read out what Wahoo have sent over here. Wahoo's new training plans integration allows third-party training platforms to send planned workouts directly to Element Bike Computers. With this new API functionality, users can optimize their training regimes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so what they've added is additional partners to sync workouts to Wahoo head units. Those being HumanGo or Humango, however you pronounce that, Final Surge, Nolio, and Join, adding to the established integrations with Wahoo System and Training Peaks. I'm guessing to sync all those up, you probably just load up the app, choose those as sources for your workouts to pull in, and away you go. Alrighty, that's it for today. Three features demonstrated that will be rolled out right about now, and one coming very soon with the GoPro control. As always, if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos on this channel, and thanks for watching.